Are you quite new to FIFA and career mode? Or are you looking to start a career mode for the first time in years? Or do you just need some simple tips to improve your career modes? Then this video is the right one for you. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I will give you some easy beginner tips for FIFA 21 career mode. If you go on and enjoy the video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to not miss any future career mode tips. First off, if you want to start your career mode with a team that has the actual stadium in the game, then you need to simply check the bottom right corner when you are on the team selection screen. If it says ground on the screen with the stadium's name underneath it, that means the club stadium is in FIFA 21. If it says city with the city name underneath it, that means that club doesn't have their real stadium in this FIFA. A simple trick to see which teams has real stadiums and which don't. A new feature that's been implemented this year is the negotiation strictness. For people that just started playing career mode though, it might be quite confusing. Loose basically means that it's a lot easier to sign players and renew contracts. This also means you can buy players from rival clubs and players that just recently joined a new club. Managers and players will not storm out of the room as much when you offer an insultingly low price or salary. Strict means that it's a bit more difficult to sign players and renew player contracts. You cannot buy players from rival clubs or players that just recently joined a new club. If you are playing in a lower league, it might be quite hard to sign players on loan deals or even buy players as they won't be interested in joining your club. If you are a beginner to career mode, I would recommend to choose the lose option, as you will firstly get used to buying players and it will be quite easy to make signings. Eventually you should start choosing the strict option, as it will make your saves a bit more challenging, which in my opinion makes it more fun. If you are doing a road to glory and started your career mode with a lower budget, this tip could save you a bit of money to invest in other players or contract renewals. When you are negotiating with a player that about joining your club or you are renewing a player's contract, make sure to remove the bonus they most of the time ask for player will always be fine with it and sometimes ask for a slight increase in salary, which would still save you money in the end. A small but handy tip. At the start of each season, make sure you check your player's contract length. If a player has 11 months left or less, that means they will leave your club at the end of the season and end up in the free agent section. If a player is 23 years old or older, that means other teams can pick up your players for free, meaning those players will stay at your club till the end of the season and then move to their new club, with your club getting no money. So check your players contract length each season to make sure you don't miss out on any money. A new feature that got implemented into FIFA this year is development plans. This means that you can train almost any young player to a specific role in that position. If you are playing with fullbacks that like to go forward for example, Make sure to choose the attacking wide back option as the role they should train in. Certain stats will get an increase during the training sessions. In the progress bit at the top of your screen, you can see how long it will take the player to have trained into that specific role. This time can also get decreased by making sure the player and team plays well, has a good morale and he is happy at the club. You can check that in the squad hub. By giving players a certain role to train in, they can also get an upgrade in skill moves and weak foot and they can get better work rates. You can also train the position of players. For each new position the player needs to train in certain attributes and this will also take a bit of time before they have their new position. Once again this can also get decreased if the player and team plays well, has a good morale and is happy at the club. If you want to train all the players to new roles or positions, there is a good chance that certain stats will decrease and the rating might get lower. Another thing that got added into this year's FIFA is in-game tutorials. When you press options, if you are on PlayStation, on a career mode main menu, then a lot of tutorials will pop up on your screen. Almost anything gets explained in these tutorials and if you have any questions, I would first recommend to check these tutorials, they can actually be quite helpful. These were some beginner tips for FIFA 21 career mode. If you still have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer your questions. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to not miss any future career mode content and I will see you at the next video.